Yeah. Well. Camera's dead now, so you probably should hurry up. That's cool. Well, we're going hunting. We do, we're going hunting in uh, Cedar Tree. I'll put a couple clips in of us hanging at Stanley. We hung that last week. Um, we hung that there because the deer, the way that these, there's like a little hedgerow right there, and there's an opening in the hedgerow, and the deer come out in that hedgerow and it's way too far for the bow, almost too far for the gun. So we moved, made a move on them. We probably moved a hundred yards towards them. So now it's about a 30 yard shot to the, uh, to the opening in the hedgerow. So we got there, we got the decoy. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna set it up. And we uh, got some other stuff we're gonna put out. And uh, the wind's gonna be blowing almost to where the deer are, but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens because we got some scents we're gonna try out. See if maybe that'll, change their mind and bring them in probably do some grunting and rattling and sequences and we'll see what happens but uh should be pretty good hopefully just talk to the landowner he's gonna go hunt down where i shot my doe earlier this season and uh hopefully he gets something if he gets something maybe we'll put it on the video so all right stay tuned we're gonna go down there get in and uh we're gonna go hunting so side of this property and there's a creek that actually runs it's actually kind of almost like a small river that runs along uh, to my right side over here and uh, we got it it's all thick really really thick bedding right to my left and we're gonna do some calling sequences and see if we can get something something out of that bedding so we're kind of on the farthest point like you can be you can't really get much closer in the bedding without being in the bedding, so there's a pretty major trail that comes running right past the stand. There's a quite a few of them. There's trails all in through here, but we're, we're gonna see what happens. It's pretty windy. It's uh, definitely a little cold today than it was last night. Last night we hunted in the uh, stand, the cedar tree stand, and we hung up with a decoy. We had a little little six pointer come into that. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and see what happens. Well uh, from what I can tell there's uh, some sort of hail going on out here and uh I think I'm gonna start rattling like two 200 inch bucks for fighting. We're gonna see if we can get a little spike to come by. I'm not really sure why it started uh, hailing. The weather was real nice today. And, uh, we're just gonna send it and just try to shoot something.
self-filming tonight. I just got set up in the stands we hunted last night. Uh, but we uh, set these stands up for a west-northwest wind. Tonight we got a northwest wind. It's 35 degrees with 13 mile an hour winds. It's 27. Feels like 27 with the wind chill. Um, after freezing my butt off last night, I uh, I decided I was gonna go and I just bought all new camo, new winter stuff. So I'm wearing it now. Washed everything last night. So I think we're in good shape. I'm just happy to be here. So happy to be on. Yep, got everything washed up, ready to go, so I feel warm right now, man, I was freaking sweating the most. Stuff is warm, but uh, it's beautiful out right now, so we're going to see if we can get some walk by. Got a bunch of little green, natural green stuff. I don't know, I don't quite know what it is, but just natural vegetation. So that's greened up still, so maybe we'll get something feeding by and hopefully get a good shot at something, so stay tuned. We'll see if we can make something happen tonight. I might try slipping. 